Hi everyone, it's Mitchell from transformationpreneur.com. Welcome to this review video of the 60th Eurovision Song Contest Vienna 2015. In this video, we are looking at Georgia. <laughs> Every time I think of Georgia, I think, I'm a joker. I'm a joker. I'm a poker. <laughs> Remember that terrible song? Well, there's good news, Georgia, because you got a good song this year. This song is called Warrior by Nina Sublati. I think that's how she says her surname. And this is funny because I have to laugh. Out of all the titles of songs you could have, what are the chances of two songs being the same title? Malta has a song out this year called Warrior. They're both called Warrior. What's the chances, honestly? And that happens a lot. Like, I also follow K-pop. Songs come out at the same time, titled the same. And I know with K-pop, the reason why two songs come out with the same title or similar names is because they're actually getting leaked information from other record labels and they're trying to compete at the same time together with the other label and I don't know if they're doing the same thing when you've got like 40 something songs it's, it's kind of a little bit <laughs> hopefully competitive between Georgia and Malta but anyway I keep talking about songs that are brilliantly structured and oh my gosh this song has a brilliantly structured verse and chorus the verses and chorus are just so a perfect song, perfect pop song. It's brilliant and structured. I love it. I love the melody in the chorus. So, ooh, I'm a warrior. It's it's a great melody. It's it's so catchy. It's so hooky, and. She, her voice, especially in the verses, it's this lovely jazzy soulful tone, really rough. I really like the tone. I said it's brilliantly structured until the end bit. It's kind of got the right ideas. After the second chorus, it goes into an instrumental break and what I think is that I would have much preferred to see a bridge, something like that, you know, a, a midsection inside there instead of an instrumental break, especially that it's in Eurovision Song Contest. They only get three minutes. You want to use your three minutes up to the best of abilities to have like a large chunk of that song as an instrumental section. It's not wise. Especially when you've got a song with great potential, you could have easily developed it more. Also, the last chorus pretty much just repeated the... It, it seemed like they copied and pasted the audio into the last chorus. There was a little bit like the start kind of just the start of the last chorus kind of began with just a piano and then it went but I I would have much preferred to see a bit of development in the singer. So I would have liked Nina to, to do some run and trills. She seems like she has the voice for it. I feel like she's probably not a puppet person. I would have liked the chords to progress as well, some progressions in the last chorus. So it's like, and be like, do, 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 I'm a warrior. Apart from that, I thought it was a very catchy, hooky and powerful song. I'll check out my other review videos and remember to like, comment and subscribe. Also go to transformationpreneur.com where you can look at how to make money online. That's it for now. Until next time, bonsoir up. Bye.